So, had a nice little package arrive from uh, from Kruber the other day. If you don't know what Kruber is, it's kind of like Yahoo Auctions, but they ship worldwide. Got this tray table. So I was sort of searching for a tray table, right? And I was kind of, oh, just kicked my guitar over. So I was kind of searching for a tray table and <clears throat> I couldn't find any that would fit my car. And I was like continuously inquiring about like the sizes, like the lengths of the table to make sure it would fit my dash. And everyone was gonna be too long. And then I searched up, I was like, oh, well I just searched up stagia parts on Kruber instead. So I typed in like C34 stagia and then uh, this, this one popped up. And um, it was already like made for my car, like the mounts are for my car and everything. I'll just turn a light on so you can see it a bit better. But it's got this really cool marble finish, chrome, which matches like the theme of my car is like black, silver and chrome, so. It also like shipped directly from Up Garage and I like had this workbox show up and I was real confused. I was like, why is a workbox showing up at my house? And then I realized that since it was an up garage, they just packaged it into an old work box. But they actually packaged it pretty well, like heaps of bubble wrap and stuff. So it was nice and safe in there. Mint condition. It's like perfect condition almost. And I think I paid, including shipping, I think I paid $85 or $84 for it. So turned out sick. Real stoked on that because they usually like, oh my goodness. Kicked my guitar over again. They're usually like... A couple hundred bucks. I think you can buy them brand new off Otaku Garage, which is um, Samit, his like thing over here in Australia where they sell like JDM parts and whatnot. But they're like 200 bucks for a brand new one, or like you know, 300, 250 or something. So 80 bucks, stoked. And it's theirs are just plain black, and this one's marble. So, so yeah, stoked. Uh, I'm gonna head over to my mate Matt's house now, and we're gonna. Chuck this bad boy on. You Car is packed. I also found this in my car, this dope little like golf visor thing that, for my mate's birthday the other week, so um, be really not going on well. There we go. So yeah, should wear this for the rest of the video, I reckon. Hey man. What's up? Oh, that's so out of focus. I know how to film stuff. Here at Matt's place gonna chuck my table in but first I'm gonna go get easy car. Here's Matt's 180. It's so nice. Just sits on 15. He's got Mark 2's up the front. I thought you took your I thought you were selling your Hayashi streets. Yeah I am. Oh yeah. I, you said you didn't like how they looked on the car mate. They look so good. What do you mean? So seal 80 big car make revised ticket like mine. It's stupid low. Your car is practically just on the ground, eh? That's how I'm trying to be. So what, I just have to constantly have my glove box open? No, you should click in your glove box. So if I open my glove box, it falls out? <laughs> no, no, because you meant to screw it in your dash basically like see how this is tight yeah yeah well most people just fucking ramp screws up through here well i'd probably just use the tape and then use that screw there right yeah like hold it in through this so that's supposed to go inside your dash there oh, well, no, inside your glove box and it clicks into here oh what well, ends flares Dog cam. Yes. Mm. Oh, come back. You, you, you like, she, oh, she, she doesn't like run off. And yeah, my sister's dogs are so bad, they just run. We're trying to take off the like glove box latch, seeing if that makes room for it, because it wasn't fitting with the glove box latch. Not 100% sure. So after like 30 minutes of screwing around, still haven't figured it out. Wait, sort of, yeah, hopefully, maybe. The only idea we've got so far is to take the latching mechanism off and put it like here and like screw it in using this wooden block, but not 100% sure. 
I'm gonna go look at Matt's in his 180 and see if, I don't know. The over-engineered one. The, yeah, super over-engineered. You need bigger fender flares there, mate. I need everything. Right, so yours is like actually screwed into yeah, the top like, of your back. I made like bracket there and there. Yeah. Put into the actual other bracket and it's like a big piece of sheet metal. It's just screwed in. That's pretty sturdy. Yeah, mate. I don't know. They're like, that's, that was the only sacrifice I could have put it back to that. Mm. But I wanted to be off the dash, so it's got like two points of contact. Yeah. They're supposed to, like it's supposed to sit down here, there, right? The yeah. Oh, but it's for an S15 dash. Yeah. Yeah, true. And I want it up here anyway. True. I don't know. Well, my de my car's like really narrow compared to yours anyway, so I can reach over really easy. Yeah. Well, I would have had to cut that down if I wanted to put it over there. Yeah. Alrighty, so slide update. So, this piece that was like sitting on the bottom turned out to be completely useless. So we just got completely rid of it. Yeah, we just like knocked it off. It did damage the table a tiny bit, which I'm probably gonna have to try and fix at some point. So you can sort of like split this bit of wood out here kind of like split this off from this when we knocked it off because it's like only held together by like wooden dowels. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunately unavoidable. Uh, now that big bit of wood isn't gonna get in the way and we can actually like mount it up and I'm gonna have to get my phone torch out. <laughs> Open the glove box for a sec. So what we've done is just like made this big bracket here and you can see it just comes off the screw that actually holds the glove box into the dash. And then that bracket is just gonna screw into this bottom plate here. And that's gonna hold it all together. That's the gist. Here's the mock-up. It's looking pretty good. So it's sitting on those brackets, but we're gonna have to trim the brackets down. Stinks so bad. Tech tip, don't use a cutting blade for grinding. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Matt turns 26 tomorrow, everyone say happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Put me in a hole. For your 26th birthday present, you're helping me fit the table to my car. All right, let's see if this works like we wanted it to. What's that? I'm gonna get copyrighted because of Earl sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, dog. Looks pretty good. I bet you I'm gonna get some Dumb cop saying I'm oh, obstructing it. my airbag. It's too long. <laughs> oh no. Damn it. Oh, well. We gotta trim it the tiniest little bit. That's pretty good, but the only thing that sucks is that these are like cork. Yeah. Wish they were like nice. But whatever. Well, that should be it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that to be honest. This bracket's like the slightest overhang, but the problem is if someone's if, like no, if like Go any shorter, it's gonna go into the hole. Yeah. The hole be fucking open. Fine. Don't oh, yeah, it. sweet. It's like perfect. Alright, I'll fix this bracket up. Kill. Cool. Oh, mate. Here, yeah, I'll hold it. Quick. This is the bracket that we had to make because we broke this bit off. But it works. Alright, update. We've been working on it heaps. We've taken that bottom piece off, like I said before, two brackets screwed on here which go inside the top of the glove box and the glove box like shuts over the top of them. And then 3M down the sides to like stick it to the dash. And then we're going to make like one bracket that goes from here and goes to the inside, like inside the glove box as well. And it will be heaps sturdy. This was like sitting down a bit further. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sketched out, eh? We've done it three or four times now. It's fucking fought. Mate. <laughs> Mad. Let's get. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that didn't actually go into my dash just for anyone about to oh, no, get on their keyboards and. It's actually helping 
earth the head unit now. <laughs> so you got a new earth definitely spot. no shortages of electrical currents anywhere. <laughs> This it. one's this one going off. straight into the dash, so you can now get on your keyboards and talk smack. Oh, you're on. Straight into the dash. Start pouring drinks. Sturdy eyes. Let me get my seven up. Look at that. Perfect seven up size. Because like before, before we were gonna have to do like this weird thing where the dash like clipped into the tray table, and that's why we got rid of that piece of wood. And now the dash will shut by itself without the tray table. I mean, inside the tray table. I know what I'm saying, I'm tired. I'm pulling the fattest TJ hunt, just getting my friends to work on my car for me and not actually touching them myself. Love it. <laughs> Who works in their own car, really? Not me, apparently. <laughs> Never done a single thing to my own car, not once. You know what you should do on your own though, is clean your car. Oh, look, alright. Mate, look at that, functioning dash. Dude, it's so sturdy. For yes. Not eat a single movement. Not eat a single... It's just to test its strength, just stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so stoked with that, hey. That looks dope. It actually, look it actually looks so dope. I was sort of like scared to close the door just then. I was like, oh fuck, I hope it was positioned right. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's positioned perfectly. Like, it legit just misses it. Just. Thanks, man. Let's pour more drinks. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yes, dude. Alright, let's play a game. How long before a cop tells me to take it out because it'll kill a passenger or something? I give it two weeks maximum. <laughs> too fast for the cops to pull you over. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Righto. We'll see. Nah, they'll love it. Alright. That's gonna be the whole video. We're probably gonna go drink and then I gotta go to work, but... Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. It's probably been like 20 minutes in. Probably no one's watching anymore. So no one actually cares. What's funny, Matt? Vlogging. Vlogging. Vlog life. So yeah. I got a tray table now. That's dope. Yeah, sick. This is the, always the most awkward part of any filming yourself is like talking to the camera. It's not awkward, you just gotta be like, done. I'm not gonna, Everyone's I'm not gonna high five the camera. That is the lamest shit. Y'all are just scared to say goodbye to each other. Alright. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Cheers, Matt. Yeah. Catch you later.